Hello, welcome to my video blog. My name's Pete. I'm 63 years of age. Next week I'm 64. So, not long enough before, before I get my state pension. As you can tell, I'm not very good at doing videos. Uh, so this is the first of many, I hope. Um, all I want to talk about is Parkinson's disease, which I'm a sufferer of. Uh, I don't like to read too much into it, because it just bores me to death. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a brief description of how I feel from the day one to the present day. It'll be in various uh, s stages. So let's get down to it. It started in 2008 with a slight tremor down my right leg. You could have mistaken it for being tapping to the music if there was music on. That's how it was. But there was no music on. I was actually, actually sat down watching telly eating my tea. Uh, I made an appointment to see the doctor because it went on for several days. I made an appointment to see the doctor. He said, we'll send you for blood tests and we'll take it from there. So, off of Trenwell's to Bassett Law Hospital. Had the bloods done, went back a week and a half later. No conclusive evidence of anything happening. Uh, what they did say, they found a bit of the mycosum was slightly high, only just a bit. So they didn't want into that. So the tremor was still there, it was there for quite some time. It never went away. No matter what they did or wanted to do, it never went to the way. And uh, then in 2009, I went back because uh, I was I had enough on it, basically. So I went back, saw a different doctor this time, told him what I'd been doing, and what we'd done, and uh, how it was acting up. I said it's getting more more all the way down my leg now and it's getting quite, quite vigorous at times this is right we'll send you some blood tests we'll have a look may give us a clue uh, so I went again for the blood test and uh, another week and a half later passed no conclusive evidence but my calcium was high I said, well, what's that way? He says, well, I'm going to have to send you to a specialist to sort that out. So I offered Trundles to Allenshire Hospital to speak to a specialist there. And he basically says, you've got parathyroids torn inside of you, of your thyroid gland. And one's gone benign. And it's playing silly buggers with your calcium level. It has to come out, it, but when it, you decide on that. Right, so I left it there. I said, uh, uh, how long have we got to make a decision? As long as you want. So I, said, oh, I just left it at that. And uh, I said I'd phone him when, when if, if I needed it doing. Because uh, I did fancy my throat being slit open, basically. And... Uh, then in 2010, I swapped jobs. I went to work for a company in Nottingham area. And uh, his wife always said I looked like a break dancing. And uh, she's probably not far from it. Because it looked like I was just all over the place. And uh, I decided to go back and have the thyroid took out, see if it made any difference, but it didn't. 
but I got a nice scar across there in the neckline with two beads on it when I come out of the hospital. I said, "What? What's these doing here?" To the nurse who was discharging me, their signature of the consultant that's done it. All right. She says. Uh, When do I have the stitches out? Um, about fortnight's time, three weeks. Give it that. Then I go and see your local nurse. So I did that. Had them out. And went back to the doctors. I said, now the tremor has gone all the way down this right side. I said, there's something else wrong and this was another doctor so this is my third doctor in two and a half years so she says well we'll, we'll send you for blood tests and we'll have a look at that well nothing come back everything was fine even my calcium was back to normal uh, so I says, right, what, do we go, what are we going to do? Because I'll just shake all the time. He says, I don't know, Mr Barlow. We'll have to see. It. So anyway, she made me an appointment to see another consultant about me shakes. And uh, that was it. So in 2011, which was my fourth doctor, they probably don't like me, so they kept changing. So I uh, went back in 2011 to see this doctor in November time. And I says, Thank you. The wife's just come through. So I says, uh, what are we going to do now then? Because I'm getting a bit fed up with this. It's just shaky, shaky, shaky. And when it shakes, it doesn't stop for ages. And he says, well, we'll send you for a little operation. I says, oh yeah. He says, yeah. He says, cut your tendons, cut your nerve ends. So you have no feeling. So that renders my arm useless. You might as well take it off the shoulder. And I says, no, I'm not going down that road. I says, I'd like a second opinion, please. So my doctor made me an appointment to see consultant at Basilor Hospital in Neurology. I did these time to test with each hand as you can see it's not very good with the right hand and various maneuver walking turning round walk back to the consultant's room and she says your gate's not very good I says well I know that she says uh, um, sorry Mr Barlow but I think you've got Parkinson's I am almost certain you've got Parkinson's disease I went oh oh dear bloody hell words to that effect so I went back to the car park got in the works van I found my gaffer who is a very good friend of mine and I says I've got some bad news he says what? I says I've got Parkinson's and he went oh sorry so I said it's alright it's not your problem it's my problem now and uh, I just cried my whole world fell apart I thought this is absolutely crap this is and I'll never forget the date it was February the 12th 2012 and it was 9.30 a.m. and I just sat there 
Pondering, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And not just for me, my whole family. The world has changed now. I had to inform the DVLA. The, my consultant told me you must inform the DVLA straight away. And they said, thank you very much. Here's your restricted license for three years. Ah, they took basically everything that I could do off it. I was just left with motorbike and car license. And my whole world changed. So with that, I'll leave you now. And I'll catch up with you later with positive thoughts and positive attitudes which were not my forte but I'll speak to you soon hope you like the video hope you enjoy them more to come and if you like subscribe and click the icon bell thank you very much bye